This is one of the air vents for the pipe system. And uh, because the pipe goes down a little lower and then comes back up, you have to have an air vent to let the bubbles that are in the pipe out. It's a one-way valve that lets the air out. And then it goes over and back down the hill. There's about three or four of these on the system. And the pipe is about a mile long, so I'm always wondering, is everything okay with the pipe? Because it does break, as you know. So this is an area where the pipe comes down and gets lower and then it's got to go back up the hill, up to the air vent. A couple of years ago, we had a break in the pipe. And it basically washed the whole side of the hill out. It took a couple days with a backhoe to bury it all back up again. But just an indication of what water will do when it's out of control. There was an air vent at this low point, or actually a, a pressure vent to release water in case we ever emptied the pipe, it would, uh, the pressure would drop and the valve would open and it would drain the low part of the pipe here. So there wasn't water in the pipe to freeze in the winter. But that's the part that broke. And when it broke, it kind of washed out the hill down there. A little hard to tell how steep that is. But it's very steep. Hey, what happened here? Well, there's this huge tree that fell. It's really kind of hard to even photograph. It's so huge. But down in here is my spring box. And as you can see, the pipe is leaking. And that's because this huge tree fell in the winter and smashed this rock against it. Broke up most of the whole thing. Here's the standpipe. And uh, this is Cimarron Spring number one. Uh, I'm going to have to get in here and do a major rebuild on this, I guess. There's the tree that gave way. And you can see it just the whole thing fell down. Maybe you can't see. We brought down a second tree with it. And uh, wow. Must have been one heck of a storm that brought these big trees down. The uh, cow fence that was in there, at least what's kind of left of it. And uh, you can see it took the whole thing out. And uh, it's going to be some major saw work just to get the wood off it to see what the spring box's uh, damage really is. So you can see in here how much water's getting away here. Just not going in the pipe at all. And that is one honking big tree. Just came down and rubbed it out. Big. See how neat and clean this one looks? This is Cimarron Spring number two. I didn't get a tree on it at all. <laughs> and it just looks peaceful and fine. Water just flowing out of it. Spring box is still pretty much the same design as the other one. It's summertime and we're up here today to trim up this tree. Uh, it's big and nasty and crashed right on top of the hydro system down in there. So I'm going to have to buck this tree and clean it up 
before I can get in there and fix anything. So that means we're going to need a tool. Okay, the uh, tree is cleared away. And I used the trusty chainsaw. We can see that the, the valve was broken off. The pipe was just snapped right off. The valve and the, and the strainer are all in good shape still. But the box itself is damaged a bit, spring box. And the standpipe is cracked down here, right at the bottom of the standpipe. It lets air in to drain the pipe. So you got this down here. It's just not not really collecting all the spring water. You can't really fill the pipe all the way. Eh, it's a bit of a mess. But it's going to get fixed. So this tree fell with such force. It's an old tree as you can see. Fell with such force. It jammed the pipe into the wood, the standpipe. Just shattered it and inserted about half an inch there into the, into the wood. Okay, so we've removed the, from the inside here, we've removed the, the intake part and it's blowing out of the spring box quite nicely. So we've got a rag here on the pipe to keep chips from getting in the pipe while we saw away at all this wood here. And we're sort of getting it out piece by piece. And the real problem here, mending this, is going to be figuring out how to cut this section of pipe out of here and uh, fit a new pipe in there. I guess we're going to have to dig it up because it's kind of cracked right here all the way to here. We've got a big hole here. The reason water's coming out of it is because the other spring pipe is open and it's just a little bit higher than this one is, so there's a little bit reverse pressure. Pushing pipe up out of this, or water out of this, from the other spring. And uh, once I get closer to fixing it, I'll turn that other spring off. But I'd like a little reverse pressure here to be, make sure that stuff doesn't get in the pipe, because that'll clog the, the jets down below. 